All right, so here is the female model. This uh, membrane along the wall of the cavity here is the um, peritoneum. So the peritoneum will come and go over the bladder. And again, the bladder is retroperitoneal, so it's only covered partially by the peritoneum. But when the peritoneum hits the uterus, it actually forms the broad ligament. So on top of the uterus, we call it the broad ligament. And um, so let's look at these structures here on the inside. So here is the ovary, the yellow structure. And then the fimbria of the uterine tube is in red. And actually, most of the uterine tube is red. So we have fimbria. Then we have the infundibulum is the first portion. The ampulla should be a wider area, which is not really that great here. And then the rest of the fallopian tube is called the isthmus that leads into the uterus. Um, what you can see here, so this is the uterine tube, and then in front of it, you can see that there's another structure that leads from the ovary to the uterus, and this is called the ovarian ligament that suspends the ovary. And then here, there's another structure that comes from the ovary, I'm sorry, that comes from the uterus and goes forward, and this is called the round ligament. So the round ligament helps to hold the uterus in place. All right, so um, let's look at this part, right? So this is the same thing. We have the ovary, we have the ovarian ligament, we have the uterine tube, and then we have the round ligament. Okay, so um, let's look at other structures. So if we look a little bit lower, uh, for the uterus, the fundus is here, the body comes out like this, and then it connects to the vagina. So this is actually looking at the external wall of the vagina. And um, if we look down here, we have uh, the glands that are associated with um, secretions during the sexual response. You're not responsible for these glands in the back, but this one you are. This is called the clitoris, and um, so you need to know this gland. And then the two folds of the vulva, so vulva are external genitalia. This is the labia majora, this is a labia minora. You can also see there's an extra pad of fat sort of in front of the pubic symphysis. So this area is called the mons pubis. Um, so let's go ahead and take the piece off so we can see what's going on here. Oh, just before I move that, so this, this little guy here, this is a piece of the ureter. So it's gonna come from the kidney and bring urine to the bladder. All right, so with the piece off, what you can see, we'll start down here. Again, labia majora, labia minora. This is the internal clitoris. Here is our pubic symphysis, the cartilage here. In front we have the mons pubis. So the structure here is the bladder. So we have the rugae and we have the detrusor muscle. This is the urethra. Um, behind it we have the vagina, so the internal, so fibromuscular wall. The vagina comes up and it encircles the cervix. So the part of the vagina that comes up like this is called the fornix. Here is the cervix, and there's a little hole that goes into the uterus, so that's called the os, O-S. And if we look at the uterus, right, we can see several layers. So the white is the perimetrium, we have the thicker flesh color is the myometrium, and then we have the endometrium, and the endometrium has two layers. So we have a basal layer and a functional layer. The functional layer is going to be... Um, you know, the one that faces the opening, so it's going to thicken and thin and also be shed in uh, the menstruation cycle with menstruation. Okay, so that's all the structures there. If we go here, we have the rectum. Um, here is the anus again, and then here are sphincter muscles. And um, here up here is this is the sigmoid colon. And I think I got everything.